This video shows how to perform metabolic mapping, a procedure to quantitate the activity of specific enzymes called dehydrogenases in cells adhered to a microscopy slide or in frozen tissue. Decades ago, we developed a whole series of uh, metabolic mapping techniques, then called enzyme histochemistry, to detect activity in tissues and cells under the microscope. However, metabolism became obsolete during the genetic revolution at the end of the last century, but now metab metabolism is hot again. Uh, look, for example, at uh, cancer cells. Um, the metabolism is now considered to be a therapeutic target, and therefore activity deter determinations in cells and tissues is hot again. A key component of the reaction buffer is polyvinyl alcohol, or PVA. This is dissolved in phosphate buffer at a concentration of 18%. PVA is dusty and toxic when inhaled, so be sure to weigh PVA under a fume hood. Because of the high PVA concentration in the phosphate buffer, heat the reaction buffer bottle au bain marie while steering. Be sure to screw the cap loosely on the bottle, or the bottle may explode. It may take up to 15 minutes before the PVA is completely dissolved in the phosphate buffer. If so, the solution should be transparent, with small air bubbles that were caused by the stirring. The viscous PVA solution can be pipetted into reaction buffer tubes using a white pipette. Keep the tubes at at least 40 degrees centigrade or higher to prevent the PVA from solidifying. One milliliter of PVA solution is good for about four cytospins or two tissue preparations. For the other components of the reaction buffer, the yellow nitroglycerin.